If you've worked in many languages, you may be familiar with the concept of the max int, which is the maximum integer that you can store in an integer type. In 32-bit systems, for assigned an integer, the number is usually about a little more than 2 billion, it's 2 to the 31 minus 1 specifically. If you're in an unsigned integer, then it's 4 billion, 2 to the 32 minus 1. In a 64-bit system, it would be 2 to the 63rd minus 1, which is a really big number. In Erlang, there is no max int. Integers are automatically unbounded. The reason for this is when they were developing the initial versions of Erlang back in the day, they discovered that 1% of the bugs in Erlang were integer overflow errors, where you, know, you start doing some mathematics calculation and suddenly you overflow and you have an negative number and the whole thing goes haywire. And they're kind of hard to, most people don't think to test for them. And they're often things that have to happen sort of accumulate over time. The Erlang core team decided the simple solution was simply to make integers unbounded. For example, if you have a program in Erlang like factorial, you know, takes the, the product of all the numbers from a number n down to 1. As you can imagine, that grows really big, really fast. So if the elixir program factorial is, is like such, and you do, you know, factorial 500, in most languages, if you were to do that in, say, Python, you either get a floating point number or an integer overflow error, depending. But in Erlang, you just get a really big integer. It's huge, but you can treat it like an integer. You know, you can divide by it or whatever. It's an integer. This makes all sorts of things more convenient in the Erlang space that you just have to worry about integer overflows. Anything that takes a type of bug and simply renders it out of existence at the language level, to my mind, is a good thing. I've been a programmer for 20 something years, and I know that if there's a type of bug out there, I'll make it eventually. So. Anything that prevents me from doing that is, to my mind, good. Especially something that I wouldn't necessarily test for. Anyway, if that is helpful to you, please let me know via Twitter or the comments below. You can like and subscribe. And if you'd like help getting your team up to speed on Erlang or Elixir, please feel free to reach out to me via email, my Twitter handle at Gmail, or on Twitter.